Hey guys, Bill coming back at you again with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Georgia Pies, which we did a partial harvest on last week. And we'll also check out the Mars Hydro Ad Light Supplemental Light Grow that we just started. We're going to be starting the UV light today. All right, guys, so first off, let's check out the remainder of these Georgia pies, and we'll see if the rest of the buds are mature enough to cut down this week. All right, guys, so as always, in the Mars Hydro 5x5 upgraded tent, growing under the Mars Hydro FC6500 Smart Light, which is run off the Mars Hydro app on my phone. The timer makes things so much more convenient. Uh, no need to add a timer to the tent. Just use the app and it'll take care of it for you. Here we have the Georgia Pies. Now anybody that's been following this grow knows that we did a harvest last week of all the tops. Uh, let me back up here and show you the whole tent. Now last week we harvested the tops and the tops were up past this sticker back here this Mars Hydro sticker and that's how much we took off of it and this is what's left now there's still quite a lot of bud here which is awesome now we have to decide what we're going to do this week are they mature enough to cut down or should we let them go for another week before we decide that I want to give a shout out to growace.com for sending me the air cube ebb and flow grow system I, I really appreciate it and i really love this system uh, this has been one of the easiest grows i've ever done and the plants i mean as you can see they absolutely love it it's worked out really good now if anybody's interested in checking out the air cube ebb and flow grow system i will leave a link down in the description to growace.com where you can purchase one, and if you use my code BWARD, it'll save you an extra 5% on any of the AirCube Ebb and Flow grow systems. So feel free to check that out. So uh, let's take a look here a little bit closer at these buds. Now, we still got some pretty decent sized buds here and dense, really nice dense nugs, and there is a ton of them. Now, it's kind of hard to believe that we already took off the best of the best out of here and got quite a bit of it too it's still drying uh just about done and then we'll be putting them up for cure and with the smells the terpenes on these and the amount of trichomes on these let's let's see if we can zoom in on this just to see the trichome production here look at that it's just beautiful it's gonna be amazing stuff i i know that already so are these ready to come down or should we leave them another week now, there's still quite a bit here, all the way down. We've still got way over a foot of buds on these plants. Now, I've gone through with the loop, and I've checked them. And the tops, the top, top ones, these are finished. These are ready to go. But once we get down a little further, down into here, these still are not mature enough. They still haven't had enough time to finish up. So I have a few different options here. If I needed this tent to start another grow right away, I could just say, eh, it's fine. We'll chop them all down. We'll chop the plants right off so that we can flip this room and get it ready for our next grow. That being said, for my next grow in this tent, I do plan on running the air cube system again, but I'm gonna set it up quite a bit different and run it a little different as well. So in order to do that, I need access to some clones, uh, a number of clones. So I don't have any clones right now, and I won't for about two weeks. So that means I don't need this tent for two weeks. Option number two is leave everything for another week, and hopefully the bottom ones, the ones down below, will mature up just a little bit more. So that's option number two. Option number three, where I don't need the tent right away, and it would just be sitting empty for a couple of weeks option number three is do another partial harvest which is what we're going to do now there's really no downside to doing another partial harvest where i'm not ready to use the tent again right away the only downside would be uh running this light for another week on the bottom buds and filling up the reservoir once more which is not really that much so i think that's what we're going to do this week guys now i've gone through with the loop and i have a pretty good idea of what to cut 
and what to leave. So that's what we're going to do right now. Now, it's really hard to record this uh, from a tripod because once I get in there, I take up quite a bit of space. So I will put you on the tripod as we harvest this. I'll, I'll put it at this angle so we can see most of that harvest. So let's get into it. Okay, guys, we are back, and this is what we have left. Now, you may be wondering, did I actually take anything off of here? Well, let's take a look. Now, you can see we have a lot of bud here that just wasn't exposed to the light very much or at all. Like this one, for instance, probably had a little bit of light coming down on it, but it was very little. And you have ones like this, which you can tell are like completely green. They haven't had any light exposed at all but there's still a fair bit here um let's go back to this one still a lot of bud now what i'm going to do with these is i'm going to strip these leaves right down right down to the bare minimum so that the light can penetrate all the way down because we got even still in here right if we take off all the leaves or most all the leaves then the light can penetrate uh, the buds aren't going to get any bigger, but they will mature, which will make the calyxes swell up, and they will, I guess they will be bigger once the calyxes swell up. Uh, but still, yeah, quite a fair bit left still on here, and definitely another week is the best way to go on these. Now let's check out and see what we took off. You might be thinking, well, you, didn't, you hardly took anything off of it. Let's check it out. Now I have this in four different racks. I had to add two more racks. This is the top one. We got some pretty chunky buds there. Nothing wrong with that at all. And uh, some of them we could take a little bit bigger uh, amounts off of. And some of them were just like single buds that were sitting at the very top. There's a nice one there. Um, so yeah, so we got a fair bit. Now this one was off of this plant. The first one I did that you watched me chop. Uh, the second one, this one here is on the second layer. Uh, you can tell this one because the leaves are lighter on this one. Uh, all through flower, the leaves were lighter. And again, we got some, you know, pretty good size amounts off of there. And other ones were just, I guess, I guess that one is a few buds. But we have some there that were just like single buds. But again, that's not bad at all. So we'll take it. And... Pretty much all these are mature and ready to cure and then ready to dry. This one here is that one back there. Now, I think we got the least amount off of this one, but still, but still some nice, nice dense buds. These are, these are really dense, but it's the smell in here, man. The, the smell is crazy. And of course, the last one back there in the corner, we have this here. Like, take a look at that. That's that's a beautiful, beautiful bud and fully mature. So I think we definitely made the right call on taking off a second harvest 
there and leaving the rest for another week. May as well use the tent uh, while I'm waiting for some more clones. All right, so that's the second harvest. Let's go check out the Mars Hydro Ad Light Supplemental Light comparison grow we'll be finally starting up the uv light in that grow let's go check it out all right so here we have the ad light comparison grow these are blue radicals which were donated to me by my friend julian uh, he has a channel on here east coast grow tents go check them out and uh, tell him bill sent you thanks a lot julian for the clones they've been in here for a week now as you can see i've set up a drip system this is the mars hydro drip system that i have set up so uh, twice a day they'll come on for a minute and they will water the plants so that works out really well as you can see here we're using the mars hydro sp 6500 a beast of a light and we have it partitioned off in the middle so this side will get the additional supplemental lights, the UV, the IR, and the deep reds. We have one, on, one of each on either side of this light. And uh, we'll be using timers to run these lights where Mars Hydro recommends to run them. So we haven't used them yet. We've just put them in last week. Wanted to let them get their roots a little bit. And uh, I think they're good to go. So we're gonna start the UVA supplemental light uh, we're going to start running that right now we have the timer already set we just have to find out which cord it is uva right there so we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug that in it'll come on every hour for five minutes we have it set right on the bottom it says auto so we are all set now every hour that will come on for five minutes and then turn off only while the lights are running of course so we're on our way. We're starting the comparison grow today. Now, as far as the plants go, uh, I want to keep everything as similar as possible. So the only difference will be the supplemental ad lights. Everything else is the same. They each have a fan, same fan, same strength, aimed at pretty much the same spot in the tent on either side. Um, they both have two mars hydro drippers that will be for food all the water will be mixed in here so they will get exactly the same food and the tent will be exhausted by a mars hydro six inch inline duct fan and uh yeah i don't know how we can get any more similar now the plants themselves i don't plan on doing much training on these uh for the simple fact if i train one even a little bit more aggressively than the other then that's going to skew the results so I don't plan on doing much training. Uh, I did take a couple of leaves off that were right close to the bottom, uh, right into the dirt. I did that on either side. And I do want to do one thing, starting out where we're just starting the test now. I do want to top it once, each one. Now you can see it's kind of bushy around here and then it's straight up, okay? Same here kind of bushy in that area and then straight up I want to take off the top I want to take it off down to about this level uh, I'm gonna keep this for clones I take it off there and I'll take this one off here so they'll start out the same and that will cause the bottom here to bush out so we'll get more of a bushier plant on both sides not just one on both sides um, instead of the straight up Christmas tree type grow so uh, I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to cut them off and try to be the same on both sides, and that's it. After that, we will not be defoliating. We will not be LSTing or topping anymore. We're going to let them go just as is. So I'll grab my scissors. Let's do this one here first. Uh, I think right there. Just cut it. I'm going to take this and put it in water. So we have that one. This one, we're going to take it right there. So that's it. That's the only manipulation of the plant we're going to do. And now we're just going to wait and see how these lights do. It's around noontime right now. Uh, they'll get their first hit of light right at 12 o'clock until 12.05. Turn off and... Turn back on at 1 till 105 and continue on until lights out. Now the IR, the infrared, and the deep red, 
Uh, they don't recommend to run those until the flowering period. So they're not plugged in. We won't be using those right yet. But this is how Mars Hydro recommends to run them. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, so waiting game on the lights. Uh, we'll check them out. Every week we'll do a quick update on them. Just to see, compare each one as they're growing. And see what kind of differences there are, if any. And uh, we'll go from there. And next week, come back, we'll uh, check out these Georgia Pies again. And see if we can take the rest down next week. Or do they need another week? Uh, this may be one of the longest harvests in history, in the history of this channel, but uh, I'm pretty happy with what we've got off so far. Really happy with the air cube ebb and flow grow system and all of Mars Hydro's equipment that helped these plants get to their full potential. So uh, for Mars Hydro, if anybody's interested in their products, which is pretty much all I use, feel free to check out the link in the description, marshydro.com. If you use my code BWARD, you'll save yourself a little bit at checkout. And there's also some Amazon links if you'd rather go that route. So feel free to check that out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.